Yo, what's up guys? I mentioned in some previous videos for those who've been following my channel a bit that I w was going to stop uh, doing so much distance running and get more into CrossFit. Um, and then like kind of quarantine happened and I wasn't really able to join a gym because all the gyms were closed. Um, but the gyms are back open, so uh, for the past, I think this is week seven, um, I've, been, I've been doing CrossFit. first two weeks were a uh, kind of a fundamenta fundamentals foundations class, so there was like six individual one-on-one -on -one sessions for that, just teaching uh, the basics of all of, like the, the big Olympic lifts and proper form, and uh, so I've, I've really been enjoying it. Um, it's a nice blend of kind of cardio, endurance, and um, strength. So um, I'm, I'm actually about to head to the gym uh, in a few minutes here. Um, you know me, I'm kind of like obsessed with different gear and like products that are specifically built for things. So a um, couple things I've picked up since I started, some nice pairs of shorts, or at least, uh, you know, I, I'd seen them advertised and I wanted to check them out. Um, the first, first pair I picked up was from Legends, and they got this sweet kind of uh, mint paint splatter pair of shorts. And I was really, I had high hopes for these. Um, I think they were close to like 60 bucks. Um, I got the uh, seven inch with the liner. And honestly, I was, um, even like from the first time I like put them on, I was a little disappointed. Um, you know, working in a running store for the past two years um, and, and being a distance runner for like the past five, I kind of uh, kind of uh, expect some quality out of shorts that you you know pay a good amount for, and a lot of that comes down to you know, the liner in the shorts. You know, a lot of sh running shorts just kind of have the underwear brief liner, but uh, the two in ones is what I really kind of like. Really, you know, you look at that liner and kind of judge it, right? So one of my the first um, biggest complaint about the liner in these shorts, and I don't know if you can tell. So this is the front. Uh, region of the short um, where you'd have like the zipper and stuff. Check it out. So you get three seams going. You get the two side seams and then you have another seam going right down the middle. Um, and like just putting that on as a guy, uh, very uncomfortable. Um, that seam right in the middle just kind of doesn't fit in the right spot. Kind of uh, is kind of rubs and is uh, uncomfortable. And uh, the other thing about the liner, there's not a whole lot of compression to it. It's actually like you can kind of tell it's super thin, um, which I mean, sure you'd be you'd think that'd be great for like breathability, but there's not a whole lot of actual like compression to it. Like the liner of a short, um, you should feel that compression liner. It should feel like a you know like a compression uh, short, like an underwear almost. Even the material, there's not a whole lot of stretch to it. Um, these I, I feel like they took um, like a cheap pair of board shorts or swim trunks and you know, threw a, a cheap compression liner into them and then marked them as like a, a fitness apparel. So I was super bummed about that. Um, didn't order anything else for a few weeks. And then um, when I was like about to buy those, I'd also been seeing ads for this other brand um, called 10,000. And you know, there's, there's stuff like pretty good. Um, it wasn't too flashy. It's pretty simple for the most part. Uh, just a lot of kind of, just like, you know, I would say basic colors for the most part. But I picked up a pair of 10,000. Um, this is their interval short. And I will say I am super impressed with these. Um, just pulling them out, everything feels really quality. It's like, to me, it feels kind of like a, a Lululemon kind of short. And um, so back to the liner, uh, they got it right. Just the two seams down the side, so you got nice um, kind of open um, pocket area through there. It's not uh, too comp too uh, compressive, but these, um, so you can kind of see, not as see-through, um, a lot better, a thicker compression to it, um, something that I would expect, you know, of a little quality material. Everything feels really nice on this short. Um, even just the small little details, the hidden zipper pocket right there is really nice too. Um, everything's lined with a nice, um, mesh uh, with the pockets and stuff. Doesn't feel like a cheap board short or cheap swim trunks. Um, this waistband is super, super great. It doesn't 
bunch up. It doesn't like flip over or anything like that. And I must admit, I really love the color. This is their sage color. Um, even down to like the, you know, the looks like a fly, but there's no opening. Um, everything feels really great. Um, even down to the tips of the drawstrings. Um, so, so far these have been my favorite short for doing CrossFit in. And I just think it feels, it feels really awesome. That was just a quick review on some of those shorts and I'm about to gear up and get to the gym and I'll check back in a few. Got back from the gym and then took Saint for about a mile run. And now I'm gonna do a little bit of stretching and recovery stuff. All right, that should do it. So I didn't mention it, but today's workout was um, two different kind of, I mean, regular gym would call them supersets. I don't know what you'd call them CrossFit. It's just the wad, I guess, and the Metcon. Or... It was a uh, 21.15.9 of toes to bar and power snatch, and then um, 9.15.21 of uh, calorie bike, calorie assault bike, and uh, overhead squat. So RX weight on that was 95.65 and I scaled to 65. Um, the weight, I mean, it was, it was difficult, I guess. Um, I think the hardest part for me is just like the overhead stability, um, especially on those overhead squats. Um, on that last set of 21, I, like, you know, trying to lock out, but, like my left bicep was getting like kind of tangly. And I don't know if I was like, wasn't fully locked out or if it like, because of the lock, I don't know. It was weird. Um, good workout for sure. I was definitely, uh, I was definitely tired for that one. So ended up going to play some badminton with my dad and then taking the dogs for their annual vet checkup. Um, they're all good. They told us Willa needs to lose a little weight, but St. Saint's right where he needs to be. And I have to start brushing your teeth more. You gotta brush your teeth. If you made it this far in the video, thanks for watching. Um, let me know what some of your favorite gym gear is in the comments below. Um, you know, I was talking about shorts earlier. Um, ended up getting a, a jump rope from RPM and been working on double unders. But what, what's some of your favorite gear? Shoes and hand wraps. I don't have any hand wraps. My, uh, my calluses actually ripped. Um, during a workout last week, so that wasn't too fun. But thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day. Keep it real.